Are you tired of being broke? Is the month lasting longer than your actual paychecks? Well, get the Simple Budget Calendar. You can get the Simple Budget Calendar at aboutthatwallet.com slash shop and download your Simple Budget Calendar today. Welcome back, everybody, back to another exciting show of the About That Wallet podcast. I'm your host, Anthony, and this show is all about talking about the history, the financial strategies, and talk about the future just a little bit uh, to kind of help you understand and get that clear vision in your foggy situation. So for those of you who are new to the show, I want to say welcome. For those of you who have been with me for quite some time, I want to say welcome back. As you know, uh, a lot of things have been happening lately. And when it comes to finances, a lot of people are still afraid to ask for what they want or even have that communication that they need uh, with their partner or even with someone that they're living with or even with themselves on trying to figure out how to move on to the next step. And for today, I wanna talk about manifestation. So manifestation by definition, I'm actually just cheating here using Google, uh, is an event or action or an object that clearly shows or embody something especially a theory or an attractive idea so i mean for most people who have read or even seen the secret and i actually thought that was pretty interesting movie slash show if you haven't seen it please take a look at it it is on netflix at least that's where i saw it um but when it comes to the secret which was uh heavily just for background sake the secret talked about um, how to make things happen in life. Pretty much start small. If you say like, hey, I really wish there was a parking spot when I get to work and uh, in your favorite spot. If you think that and say that out loud, you will more than likely get the spot that you want when you get to work. Um, say if you don't want to go back to work, uh, you probably won't have to go back to work. It really depends on how you're asking, but you need to be specific because you might actually get what you asked for. So say if you did not want to go to work, but then you find out, all right, they fired you. Was that the outcome that you're asking for? Um, the universe gave you exactly what you asked for. So, I mean, who's to say that, you know, now that you're fired, um, you can't work at that particular job anymore. Now you have to figure out something else that you want to do. And but you really liked what you're doing. You just didn't want to physically go back to work. Now you have to actually try to manifest another step in your ladder to get to where you want to be. Now, everybody isn't set up for that. Uh, say for me, for instance, um, perfect example. I was at work and there's always this candy bowl that's sitting out. And what I do uh, is always take the Twizzlers. I do get a couple Snickers out of there. And I do get uh, some of those uh, Reese PCs. Or she even has a Reese cup sometimes. But one day, I was actually able to catch the lady that was putting out the bowl of candy. And I asked her, I was like, yeah, I really like these. You know, can is it possible for me to have a couple of them before you put them in a bowl. She was like, sure, I got plenty of them. Let me uh, get back to you. And I was like, all right. So I went to my desk and next thing you know, it was a huge, she just came by with two handfuls of snacks. And I was like, wow, thank you. I mean, I didn't expect her to do as much as she did. I just asked for just a little, but she came back with the whole two handfuls. Now, that was just a small piece of manifestation because a lot of people can think a lot of things. You can do your little vision boards or as grand of a vision board that you have. But if it's not specific to exactly what you want in life, you will never achieve it. You'll get close, but then you have to keep fine tuning once you get there. Um, I can even say in my past when I was in a relationship uh, that I did not like. No, I'll even take it back. When I was single, um, 
and I moved out to my own apartment for myself because I had a roommate at the time. I actually got my first place by myself. And after about, I would say six months or so, you know, dating, I was thinking to myself, am I really worthy of a relationship? Am I uh, can do anything here that could actually help me be a good boyfriend or even a good husband to someone? Like, what what is it? And I wrote this down in a journal. I don't have the journal anymore. But when I wrote it down and started, you know, doing my day-to-day stuff, didn't even totally forgot about that I written this down, I got into a relationship. And it had everything that I wanted because I did ask for someone that had their own house, someone that had their own garage, uh, that was self-sustaining. And that's all I asked for. I didn't ask about, you know, how I wanted to be treated in this relationship. I did not ask for how did, um, how did I feel about being in this relationship? So I got into the relationship and the first thing that I noticed was the insecurities of me hanging out with my friends or meeting other women just to kind of have lunch or something like that. And it was just innocent. It wasn't anything uh, spectacular. It was just probably like, hey, let's go to Starbucks to grab a pizza right quick in between classes. Um, Just that simple. But for me, it was more like I didn't see anything of it because, for one, I knew that I was with this lady and this woman for the purpose of being in this relationship. I did not look at it as if it was something that I was going to be beyond. You're listening to the About That Wallet podcast. We'll be right back after these messages. If you are enjoying this episode or finding anything useful, please consider leaving a review on iTunes, Spotify, or anywhere on the internet. It is one of the best ways you can help new listeners find me, such as yourself. You can always support this podcast by going to patreon.com forward slash about that wallet or anchor.fm forward slash about that wallet. Now that I'm in this relationship, she has a house, she has everything. Next thing you know, it's like, well, why am I hanging out with these people? Who are you talking to on Facebook? Who, why do all these people putting these exclamation points when they say your name, when they texting you? And so for me, I was like, okay, well, I really asked for this relationship. And then it happened. But I did not ask for all the the little knickknacks on everything that I did. So fast forward, I got out of that relationship because for once I was like, you know, this relationship is not for me. Then I found out that, you know, getting into a marriage with someone else was exactly what I wanted because I actually spoke and said that I really want to be in this relationship. I want someone that I can be happy with. I want someone that will be there for me. I want someone that is financially understanding. And that's how I came across my wife, who is such a magnificent woman to be with, uh, to hang around with, uh, and really puts a smile on my face. So when it comes to this manifestation process, you have to ask specifically what you want. And also the things that you don't want, because a lot of people don't talk about the things that you don't want. Um, Because one of the things, even though you also hear uh, articles or someone might say, you know, the things that come around you are the things that you really don't want around you. That is because you put so much energy into it. I could see that. Um, But when you think about it from the long term, it is not, it, it sort of is your fault that things come around you the way they do. But also, if you think about it, there could be a test to actually see if this is really what you want. 
to the full extent. So if the next time when you go out to you wash your clothes and you really wish that, you know, that you can fold a little better and that you want a clean, structured uh, household or laundry basket, you would actually take the time out to build that basket out, do the things that actually make you happy uh, to kind of manifest the things that you want. Um, in order, for, And also when you think about the manifestation, it is talking about the things that you are without to some degree. However, if you, when I talk about the manifestation is also includes the law of attraction. And when you think of, about the law of attraction, you mean like opposites attract. So one is without something and one has more of it. That will work mainly in the sense of, hey, uh, go back to the candy situation. I was the one without the candy. The lady was the one with the candy. I asked the question, law of attraction happened. I was able to get some extra candy. If you just want to bottom line it to the law of attraction. Uh, but when it comes to manifesting the physical aspects of it, I still had to take action because manifestation doesn't happen without attract, like without taking action. So the action in that piece was me actually asking the question and also being around and in that time frame to make it happen. It's the same thing when you're looking for a job. You have to be willing to be around the people that you want to be. You have to be willing to ask the question, hey, am I really a good fit for this position? What is it that I can do right now to kind of put me to that level of where I really want to be? These are the things that you need to start asking yourself when you're trying to manifest things and create the environment that you really want to be in. So going into the future, I challenge you all to start small. Take the actions on the things that you really want in your life. If you want to buy, purchase a bicycle because the weather's getting nice and you want to go outside a little bit more, talk to people who are already on bikes and ask them, well, what type of bike do you use? Where did you get your bike from? Um, what is the type of, and then you have to think about it. What type of trails are they riding on? Are they riding on in the mountains or are they in the woods? Most of the time you'll need a mountain bike for that. If you're on a road a lot, uh, just a street, get a road bike. If you're on a lot of trails, sometimes you got a little mucky with the mud and so forth. You might want to get yourself a hybrid which is in between the mountain bike and the road bike. So these are the type of things that you have to kind of ask yourself and be specific exactly on what you want. When you come to your vision boards, do the exact same thing. Yes, you took action to put it up there, but the next thing you need to continue on doing these actions to make sure it comes through. Save up your money, create your budget to actually or create a savings plan, not even a budget, just create a savings plan for your goals. That is the number one thing that I can ever ask for for someone to do is that if there is something that you really want, you need to find a way to save up for it, take the action and ask the right questions. I think those will be the top three things that I would say for anyone who is willing to take themselves to that next level and manifest the lifestyle that you really want. All right, everybody. My name is Anthony. I wish you all the best and let's manifest the things that you want in your life. Well, that concludes this episode of About That Wallet. I hope this topic was helpful. If you want to get the latest episodes, please subscribe to this podcast wherever you're listening to it. Remember, it is your duty to know about that wallet. Take care. Be safe. I'm out. Peace.